Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. The challenge for people of faith is that they are always trying to ask God for things, but then they receive from God what they've asked for, but because it doesn't come in the package or in the way that they expect, they don't always recognize it. And sometimes they take so long to get it that it's painful for those that already got it. You see, God doesn't play your game. You, as a human being, play God's game. If you remember one of the old films from the 80s with Harry Hamblin, we have to be okay with what was happening in Athens. But what we saw from the capturing and the scripting and the illustration of the gods was a bunch of people standing around a smaller version of that world. And they were physically moving pawns on the board. God is sort of like that. But God is omnipotent, he is most definitely omnipresent, and he's 100% omniscient. I tend to use those three O's for him because that is what we are always taught when we were in Bible school or some sort of Boy Scout camp when we had conversations on faith. But what I can say to you today about people of faith is that they often take liberties with people's faces, with their monies, with the places they live, and openly with their property. You see, property is something that people own. Possessions are things that people gift them. And what we know about people with property and possessions is that they have rights to them. The challenge of people that work in trash is knowing what is and isn't their property. People are never their property. Items in the trash do not become theirs until it gets back to the actual house that basically is responsible for recycling them. The reason I say that is because that sometimes people play games on people. Sometimes people make mistakes in what they throw away. Other times they think, I'll throw this away, and then a day later they realize that they have a relative who might want it. And then they have to go dumpster diving to find it. So any gas or any, sorry, trash receptacle is sort of fair game for the people that fill it, as well as the people that stock it, and the people that eventually pick it up. But what I'm talking about today is a little unusual. What I'm talking about today is that God is looking down upon you in your hunting through the trash. And when God looks down upon you, he's questioning, do you understand the Lord? Have you heard my message? Did you get the sign? Are you listening to my Holy Ghost? Are you valuing human life? Are you thinking you're my God? Are you understanding that you are not God in the world that I created? As Lord Odin above all creation, he has the right to decide who is for who, what is what, and it is not you. You are not the God of God. You are not the God over Jesus. You are not the God over people in your congregation. You are not the God even over your brothers and sisters. You are certainly never the God over your parentage, although sometimes we have to be in service to the elderly. In life, there are moments of time for you to face your truth. Your vanity was thinking you were a God. Your violence is thinking you have the right to harm people in the name of God. And your vandalism is what you've done to a person's personage or property without their lawful consent or without Jesus' approval.